Our topic uh, today is how to use the new PID tuner with um, PCS7. PCS7 is the this is platform for uh, Siemens industry, and uh, it's possible to use the new PID tuner to tune uh, the PID controllers in PCS7. Uh, first, uh, it's possible to estimate second order uh, process models such as. Uh, temperature with uh, various sluggish time constants and uh, the other process model is the first order the first order process model we are interested here i previously have done a video very detailed uh, video on how to tune the pid compact into uh, to a portal it's very similar to uh, to that what's these uh, terms the starting point of the uh, process reaction curve this curve the the red curve is the process reaction curve this is the transportation delay or time delay and this is the steady state on the uh, process value and this uh, the black trend here is the command and the control bar initial command and the final command initial command is y0 and final command is y infinity uh, it's possible to uh, estimate and tune uh, process models with this uh, little uh, oscillations or uh, fluctuations but in a case such as this process models uh, your chance is very low you need to make your process stable by adjusting or repairing the positioner or your measuring uh, uh, transmitter and uh, because you are in a constant uh, command and uh, the PID controller has no role in um, this oscillation it's in your process and your instrumentation the other parameters are very important for us are the initial t t0 and t infinity i explained you about t infinity but as a rule of thumb you can see that the slope of reaction curve is getting constant here and uh, you can find more in the previous video i i uh, will share the link of the previous video on the uh, how to estimate and tune uh, pid controllers and process models in uh, the portal you can find more information there so we will go to the uh, pcs7 environment in the pcs7 environment i uh started the function test i need the ruler functionality in vincc for uh, some measurement the initial values are all zero x zero is zero this uh, the red process value initial process value is zero and initial control value is zero and we have a element of 20 this is the uh, y infinity and when we apply the, the control the change in control a step in the control valve we don't have the output we don't have any change uh, to the output our starting point is here uh, 57 you can say four seconds or five seconds four seconds is okay for td four seconds we don't have any uh, change in the measurement and our uh, x infinity we should move the curve a bit here you can see that we can consider this point as t infinity because you can see a very uh, constant uh, step a bigger constant step here if our starting point here uh, 48, uh, 57 in this uh, we can consider around uh, 3 minutes 48 
48 we are here 51 around 100 and, uh, 170 we can consider 170 as uh, t infinity after um, doing the initial test we need to apply the uh, parameters in the application first order model we should select pcs7 x0 is 0 y0 is uh, 0 and uh, td is considered to be 4 t infinity 170 you can consider it three se three minutes 180 but uh uh, it's an ap approximation and uh, uh, 36.3 as our x infinity 36.3 and our y infinity is 20 let's see what's the estimation the gain is around 1.82 time delay 4 and time constant is around 33 so we go to report and we have the parameter it is also possible to perform the simulation here uh, and it's um, uh, it's an accurate simulation but uh, we skip well we apply uh, the PID parameters but uh, aggressive PID parameters we will apply the aggressive PID parameters I hold the recording I need to uh, cha you know, change the process a status, status to the initial state and apply the aggressive PID parameters I hold the recording here so I reset everything I'm back to initial state because I want to apply the uh, aggressive PID parameters the aggressive PID parameters are working perfectly in initial startup 1.8 as the gain let me change the parameters here 1.8 is the gain and uh, 35 as ti, ti 1.8 and 35 1.8 1.8 and 35 as 35 as aggressive parameters what about the uh, derivative? Derivative, derivative uh, is around six point six. I need to change the derivative also six point six. Six point six. Here 6.6, So, uh, PID parameters are changed based on the aggressive uh, the PID selection. Now I put the controller in automatic mode and change the set point to 80, and we will check the response. The controller is in automatic. I change the set point to 80 and now I apply and let's see what's the reaction. So aggressive PID parameters are suitable for quick startup. Uh, we expect uh, very uh, small amount of overshoot but but it's okay our process can tolerate that uh, you can perform su uh, such a simulation in the mm, application itself and you will you will have an identical response So we have our slight overshoot here. Uh, 
uh, we need to wait until reach to the uh, city estate. It's also possible to function test and apply the uh, conservative PID, aggressive PI, and conservative PI very easily. You can change them if you want to have minor uh, step changes or or if you want to function test the reaction of the uh, PIDs, your optimized PID parameters to uh, process disturbances, I highly recommend to use uh, conservative PI parameters. For shorter step changes in set point, you can use uh, uh, aggressive PI, aggressive PI, but if you want to just uh, use the PID to uh, to damp or to control the process disturbances, I highly recommend the uh, conservative PI parameter. And as you see, the aggressive PID, aggressive PID is very uh, perfect. It's a perfect solution for quick startup. Your process should tolerate um, uh, a site overshoot. If you don't want this to overshoot, your response will be uh, you need to select the conservative solution solutions and your response will be a sluggish. It will be very slow and you, you, you may not experience any overshoot. Thank you for watching. This, this, uh, this is a very short brief on PCS7 environment and the new PID tuner application. Thank you for watching.